Hello there, this is your neighborhood clown. And in this video, I'll talk about those annoying valve cover leaks that anybody who messes with cars knows all too well about. So I'm gonna pass on my years of experience on how to prevent those leaks from ever happening ever again. This bad boy right here, that is your rubber valve cover gasket. It's rubber, it's ribbed, it's steel reinforced on the inside. Um, if you go open up a Summit or Jegs catalog, you'll find these in there. They're like 50, 60 bucks. These are well worth it. You'll save money just by buying this. You can reuse this, use it a million times. It's, you know, instead of paying 20 bucks for uh, valve cover gaskets and changing them all the time whenever you take the valve covers off or whenever they leak, if you have a high performance motor and it shades everything loose because of the cam, um, you'll thank this clown right here. Now let me also show you another trick. These head studs. Yeah, they're nice studs, aren't they? I like studs. <laughs> anyway, now these are so cool. ARP makes these. Um, what you do is you just thread them in, hand tight. You don't have to be all the way tight, hand tight, because when you uh, tighten the, the nut on top, it's going to it's going to squeeze everything together for you. So you would put your, uh, look how easy this is. I'm doing it with one hand. Look at that. Look at that. Already done. Now people without studs, you know how easy, uh, how, how much of a pain it is to do that. Now let me show you how easy it is to put this valve cover on. Even easier. Uh, uh, look at that. Done. Make sure you put nylocks here, the, the nuts with the nylon insert in it, or, or if you use a regular, um, if you use a regular, uh, nut, <laughs> regular nut, <sighs> you, uh, <laughs> you put thread locker on it, and you, and you tighten them down with the thread locker. I use red, some other people use blue, my, my cam is huge, so it vibrates everything loose, like I said before, so I like to use red and everything. So, you know how many times, uh, you know all those times that you're in the en engine bay and everything's so tight in there and you're trying to look for the hole? <laughs> yeah, I know I have problems with that sometimes. And uh, if you don't have the studs, you know, try to line everything with like a locator or type of a pick or something. This will save you so much frustration. So, do this. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.